Actually, Sri Lanka. It's been one of my uh, one of my favorites. It it just blew me away. Yeah. And just again, like it all comes down to the people. And I found that in in these uh, countries, it's it overwhelmingly welcoming and and just kind kind people. So that's what really leaves an impact. Yes. What do you look for when you go to a new place? Ah, uh, you know, I I think I I just look for the the most unique things, you know, and the, and the things that are most different from the perspective I come from, from a Western background, like eating with my fingers, which is, is pretty unusual to eat like rice and curry and stuff with fingers. You know, it's, it's unusual to people from back home. I look for that kind of thing. And I look for, um, you know, those experiences that make people say, wow. And then, and try to show how it is that everyday normal people, you know, live life there. Yeah. 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 I mean, the food there was insane. It is spicy. Yeah. You have to <laughs> have to be ready for that for sure. Um, but oh my gosh, just the, the flavors and yeah, the food was incredible. Yeah, yeah. The traffic was nuts. Those three wheelers that you can get, all the tuk-tuks that you can get, a lot of scooters and those sorts of things. I was driven around, I assume you were too. I don't know if you were courage, uh, you know, brave enough to drive, but it's just normal. They use the horn to warn everybody and they swerve in and out of traffic and it somehow works. It's like an art. It's kind of amazing to behold. It, and and. At least where I come from, the horn is seen as kind of an aggressive thing, yeah. like, hey, get out of my way. But there it's it's a, it's more of like a courtesy almost because it's, yes. it's just notify people like, hey, look, we're all not following the lines on the road. So I'm going to give you a little beep when I'm coming up behind you and then we're both yeah, good. Yeah. Thank you, mate.